going to talk you through your next week of training um, and a little oversight on your next 12 weeks of training as it will be blocked up into four week cycles. So last week was a little bit of a deload as we did testing the week before. So it's to give your body that little bit of a rest due to that overload of volume, just to give your central nervous system a little bit of a break so we can rebuild you across this next cycle. What's happening now with the next four weeks? Um, obviously, a lot, of the, a lot of the main movements will stay similar because we want to really prioritise those good strength-based movements. What will have happened now, though, across the next four weeks is a few of those main, main movements are changed onto different days just so that everyone can get a little bit of a dose of a different stimulus. So, for example, um, on the last cycle, if your training routine involved your squats, your deadlifts and your IDLs, We'll just change those days a little bit so everyone can get a little bit of a dose of something else. So everyone can obviously have a look at the training just to see what days they want to try and get to. With this week specifically, RPEs overall are very, very low. Just to get used to the new cycle, everything like that, as we will rebuild this up over the next 12 weeks. So just get, to the new rep, get used to the new rep schemes, get used to the new movements, get used to the new tempos, everything like that. And then following this week, we can really ramp up the volume and start to get that RPE higher as the weeks go on. Um, enjoy this week's training as always. If you can, please book on to the Wednesday seminar in which I'll be explaining everything with regards to why we do these four week cycles, the 12 week cycles, how it's going to look, etc, etc. So please book on if you get the chance and I'll see you guys all on the gym floor. Cheers.